This video is designed to show how to download Landsat data from the USGS data center called Globits or Global Visualization. I'm going to go up to Google and I'm going to type in GLOVIS and in general Google will come up with the globus.usgs.gov server. I'm going to go to that and I'm going to uh, use this USGS Global Visualization Viewer it's first going to ask me to select a collection. In this case, the Landsat archive is what we want. And, but I'll show you that there are also, this archive contains Aster data, EO1, MODIS, and some other types of collections of remotely sensed imagery. I'm going to go to Landsat archive, which was the default. I'm going to come over here, and here the, what is selected is Landsat 7, SLC off 2003 to present. Uh, we want for the exercise you're doing in class the Landsat 7 data. However, this SLC refers to scan line corrector, which is a, a part of the component of the Landsat 7 instrument. In 2003, this system started to go bad. And therefore, a number of the images we will get in that collection will have data dropouts and data gaps in them. So we're going to try to avoid that for this exercise by coming down to the Landsat 7 SLC on 1999 to 2003 uh, set of images. So we'll be searching through images in this particular period of time. Now, the area I've chosen to download my image is the Georgian Bay area, which is off of Lake Huron in Canada. I'm going to click with the mouse in the general area of that, and then I'll be able to find it by looking at the viewer that will come up in a moment. So I'm going to move this up, and it is now going to have found a January 1999 image. Um, it's a little over from where I'm looking, which is going to be up here. This is Georgian Bay, and this is Christian Island right here. Uh, so we'll need to move around. Right now, this area is selected. You can see the shape of the shape of the state of Michigan here in this view. Um, each one of these squares is a Landsat uh, a rectangle or square. And these are described, as we talked in class, by path and row numbers. So the image I'm looking at is path 20, row 29. And there will be images for this area literally every 16 days uh, as the satellite goes through its repeat orbit. Now, I really want a, a cloud-free image for this particular uh, choice. And so I'm going to go here to Max Cloud, and I'm going to set it to 0%. Now, it won't really necessarily have no clouds in the image when we get the, the final image out, but it is the case that it will probably be less than 5% clouds, and the clouds will be sporadically distrib distributed and probably won't affect what we're going to do. Uh, the latitude and longitude are usually the Latin lawn in the midpoint of the image that is selected here. So I'm going to tell it to go in order to look for now a cloud-free image. Um, so I have up here now a September 2002 image. Um, and the problem is I'm now not really looking at the area that I want to look at. So I'm going to move over to the right. And I now have an image which includes the southern part of Georgian Bay, including Christian Island, which is located right here. Note that although there will be in these postage stamps some funny colors, uh, the real images that you get won't won't have these won't have these peculiar colors or peculiar uh, looking postage stamp representations. Um, I can also say what's the previous scene before March 2003 for this particular area that was cloud free. And I can go back, and here's an image from June 2001. I might go back, here's an October 2000. Uh, I can even go one more, September 1999. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to take this July image of 1999. I could pick any of many. 
Now, when it comes time for me to obtain this, I need to look up here, and the words downloadable tell us that this image on this day, acquired on this day, uh, is actually available for download, which means we won't have to wait for it to be loaded off of tape or something like that at the data center. It makes it quick and easy. Not all images will be listed as downloadable. If they are not listed as downloadable, you can still obtain them, but you will have to submit them for processing, and I'll show you the button to do that uh, in a moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the image that's selected to my list of images that I would like to obtain. So I click here, and I then have the designation code, the identifier for this image on this particular date in July 1999. Now, you can load many data sets if you wish at this at the same time. I'm just going to load, download this one. At this point, I have the choice of clicking download. I said earlier, if it doesn't say downloadable above, you would submit it. And when you submit it, uh, that, uh, that causes the process of bringing the data, making it available, and then USGS will send you an email when it's ready. The last time I did this last week, it was about 24 hours to obtain the data. Uh, they say two to three days, but usually it's faster than that. So I'm going to click download. It warns me that this is a 223 megabyte data set, so it may take a while to download. I'm going to say yes to continue, and I will probably get a uh, display up here in a moment that will indicate that the download is happening. The uh, response from the USGS is this website that came up, and it is offers the opportunity to click a download button. Before this window came up, I had to log in. Uh, it's a free registration with USGS, and you just need to register yourself, and then you can download data uh, like I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to click Start Download, and it will come up and it will, I'm going to choose to save the file and therefore it will start to come up in my downloads folder and we'll come back this takes a, a little bit of time so we'll come back in uh, a minute or two once it is downloaded the folder has now uh, finished downloading it's located here I'm going to go to the directory where this is being saved and I'm going to copy the folder that we just, or the file that we just downloaded with a control C. And I'm going to bring it over to my desktop. It's appeared right here. And it copies pretty quickly within the computer. And I'm going to now get rid of the Globe, uh, Globe is, Globe is window. I'm going to get rid of the download window. I'm going to get rid of this download window. 